call me Picasso because we are about to do some crazy art projects with the X tool P2. Pottery Barn, watch out. Stay tuned to see how we create these and be sure to enter into the giveaway. Today we are using the X Tools P2 to create some fun and unique home decor pieces. So step one, let's open everything and set up this incredible laser machine. Okay, first impression, this thing is nice. Really impressed with the design and the look of it straight out of the box. Now let's set it up. Some of the materials and tools are inside of the machine for shipping purposes, so let's remove them and keep on going. These are all the items that come with the machine. You've got a manual, some tools and extra hardware, power cords, a ventilation hose and clamp, antifreeze and a funnel as well as some extra products to use in the machine. All right, you guys, so this right here is the flux capacitor. So what do you guys think? Should we go into the past or back to the future? <laughs> you always see the past. <laughs> Uh, just kidding. Anyways, so this is where we need to fill up the antifreeze. And to be completely honest, I have absolutely no idea what the cylinder is. <laughs> it's pretty wild looking. But we are just going to continue to figure everything out and set everything up. Guys, this is some kind of science experiment we're doing here for this for this laser. It's definitely something new. We have never had to add antifreeze into a laser before, but here we are. <laughs> so the amount of antifreeze that you need to add is dependent on the temperature of where you are going to be using the laser. So they give you a little chart right there and let you know how much you need to add and mix with purified water. We had to use two different cups because we did not have one that was big enough to mix everything together. So we just had to divide it into two separate cups to make sure that we do the good measurements and mix the antifreeze with the water. All right, you guys, today we are gonna do something new. We are diving in to some DIY home decor. Pretty excited. The things that we are going to make, I designed myself, which you will see later in the video how I did it. So come along for the ride, see what we are going to make. And don't forget to check out the link in the description. I have two links, one for this crazy machine and to my website where you can buy the things that I'm going to make in this video to help support the channel. So with that being said, let's get to it. So I really like geometric shapes and modern design details. So I am combining both to create this design. The Xtools software is absolutely incredible and super intuitive and easy to use. I had a great time making this design and I'm really looking forward to see what I make in the future. All right, so we are gonna do a test run to make sure that everything works with the machine and to see how my design comes out because we haven't 
cut it out ever and I don't know what that will look like in reality so just connected the machine to my computer so this is the piece of cardboard so there's the piece of cardboard in there I cannot even tell you how helpful it is to have this little camera where you can see what you're working on and adjust any adjustments that you need to do like if you need to find the center of something and it's amazing absolutely amazing so now we're gonna see what it's like in real time because I'm about to put the design on this piece of cardboard and cut it out so let's do it okay all right so here is the piece of cardboard in there and here is my placemat design <laughs> so we're just gonna put it there and mess around with the settings see what works see kind of how the machine works kind of get a feel for everything before we start to cut bigger and better things <laughs> so first run let's go Also, this is amazing because all the smoke and everything that is happening in this incredible machine right now is going out of the little air vent and outside, which is so great because usually it gets really smoky when you cut wood or cardboard or things like that. All right, it took us a minute to kind of figure out the settings, but check it out. Look at that. Nice. Coming, it's coming, it's coming. Whoa, look at this. Okay. So we need to have a very tiny plate. Oh no, this is, <laughs> this is scaled down, right? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Yuck. I just think this is so cool. All right, so our little test piece came out okay. Pretty happy with how it came out actually. It doesn't look like I need to make too many adjustments. So with that being said, we are going to bust out the plywood that they give you with the machine. Um, I think they give you like four or five pieces of some small plywood. I'll show you in a second. And we're going to try it on that just to see how that turns out and mess around with the settings again and just keep going, work our way up to the large piece of plywood that we have so so far so good moving along okay round two of testing this thing is i am so impressed with the quality of this machine uh even the door is amazing you can just tell it's made well anyways so here we have some plywood, similar to what we are going to try to do the placemat on. So I'm just gonna cut like a small version again on the plywood just to see for the settings to make sure we kind of can figure out the settings and go from there. So first put the lid down, come over here, click refresh because this is a new piece. Look, there we go. So let's move my little design over little, to a little the, bit bigger. To a little bit bigger? Yeah. Okay. Over in the corner right here. Go start. Okay, just finished. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, but always you have to wait for the exhaust to finish before you open it, which as you heard, it just stopped. So now it's ready to be open. The final reveal, look at that. It cut it out in one pass with no problem. Zero struggle. And wow, oh my gosh. This is so cool. This is so neat. Oh, I'm so happy with how it's coming out. Okay, so our second test went very well. Oh, interesting, I have it this way or the other way. Which way do I prefer, this way? Or this way? 
Uh, this is the magic of, uh, of it, you can do it all the way, <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's really cool and boss. It's true, yeah. Or this way, or this way. <laughs> you have all the options, you can put it any way that you want. So, our second prototype came out extremely well. Mega happy with how it came out. It looks really cool. It's kind of like a spider web in a way like a geometric or if like if you guys were little and played that game like pickup sticks or whatever it's really similar to that so if you want a pickup stick placemat i got you it's like an oven you know <laughs> you remove the tray <laughs> This removable tray at the bottom is actually really handy because as you saw, we had like a hundred little tiny pieces that were left over from the cutting out the our little piece. And this is just the quickest, fastest way to pull it out and clean it up and then slide it back in. Now we are going to do a test on a thicker piece of wood for the second part of this project that I would like to make. So again, this is just a little test, a little prototype that we're gonna make to kind of see how things work, test the machine, see what settings work well, and kind of play with it until, it, uh, until we find the right path to go down. Alrighty, just finished, I think, the final pass. So we are gonna try to take my little shape out. And you guys will see what I have planned for this one. All right, so that work. So this piece of wood is just over, it's it's about five eighths. Okay, this one I will have to break it. It's totally cut to that. Oh yeah, almost. Probably just the net that. Yeah. Yeah, we figured we were gonna have trouble with this little knot, but neato! So that came out pretty cool. Wait until you see what this becomes. The time has come. Wait until you see what we are doing with this. All right, you guys, so we are gonna be transforming four pieces of this plywood into beautiful modern placemats. So behind me, we have the X-Tools P2, and we are pretty much almost set up and ready to go. Yesterday, I cut out my prototype, so everything went well, and I think I'm pretty happy with the design and everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and start everything up on the machine. Throw in this piece of plywood, and I have four of these, and cut this shape out, but to size. <laughs> it can also go on your wall as a piece of art if you're interested, or you can pin photos to it. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose use. So let's get everything fired up and get going. All right, let's open this bad boy. So it's a little scary because I only have four pieces, so no room for mistakes up in here. But fingers crossed everything goes well. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and see how it turns out. All right, just finished. Let's open it up and see how it turned out. Is it cut? Uh, I think we have to do second pass. Really? You sure? I don't know. Yeah, maybe we do one just to be yeah. sure. Yeah. So we were unsure of the settings for this particular piece. So we put them on the low side just to be safe. So it looks like we're gonna have to do one more pass just to be sure. I don't wanna break it as we're trying to get the form out of the wood. So one more pass. All 
All right, so we are gonna load the second piece and make one more. All right, number two. I'm pretty sure this one's good. Oh yeah. Yeah, You're okay. Right. <laughs> That's more like it. All right, second one was a success. All right, let's pull this little tray out and remove all of our little pieces so they don't catch on fire. All better. Moving along, placemat number three. Let's grab the third sheet. Bing! Into the machine you go. Number three, complete. All right, let's clean this up. All better. Number four, let's go. The last placemat just finished. Ah, there it is. All right, let's pop it out and get to work. Project number two. We are going to try to make these kind of centerpiece candle holder things. I don't really know what to call them. I know what they're like in my mind, but to explain them, sometimes it's difficult. But anyways, we got the piece Table. of wood. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Table chandeliers. Okay, close enough. But yeah, anyway, so the piece of wood is in there and I'm going to play around with the design a little bit, try to make everything fit well. The main concern is I want this piece of glass to be the candle holder. We have these little like LED candle things and they plop right in there perfectly. So I want this to fit inside whatever I cut out. So, let's get to it. All right, we got the design set up, the piece of wood set up in there. I'm just gonna press start and hope that it turns out well. Fingers crossed, this is our First time doing this design, so we'll see how it turns out. Our first prototype, gotta pop this one out. It's definitely cut, but sometimes it is a little, it sticks in some strange places. So, excellent. So we are gonna cut two of these so they can be two wide. And then we're gonna plat, uh, then we're gonna cut a little stand out of the bottom off of another piece of wood. So that way it will be like that, kind of. A little bit thicker. Then we are going to do some finishing touches. We're going to sand it, stain it, kind of make it look a little bit more presentable to kind of like pull everything together. So now we need to cut a second one so that we can put them together to make it a little bit thicker. Let's go. All right, second one, good to go. Okay, cool. So this one's done. Time to make another one in a different shape.
second table chandelier, as my aunt calls it, ready to go. Got the piece of wood set up in there. And three, two, one, activate. Final pass complete. All right, here we go. Let's pop it out. Perfect. two pieces together so that they become one piece and just wait and see what we turn this into quarter inch piece of wood right here. No way. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, so here we got the base to our little design. So it's gonna be the base. So that's it for the night. Check back in tomorrow to see the finished project. All right, you guys, time to sand, stain, seal, repeat. Let's go.
already making progress. Just finished sanding them. Our little table pieces, or as Violet likes to call them, table chandeliers. <laughs> so this is the larger one and this is the smaller one. Pretty neat, huh? I kind of purposely wanted it to be a little bit like rustic and rough looking, which is why we didn't like sand it too much. So now we are going to work on staining it and sealing it, I think. It's the next step. So far so good, let's continue. finished staining everything so now we're just gonna let it dry for a little while and then we're gonna come back and seal everything all right so everything is pretty much dry stain has dried and it's ready to receive a layer of sealant so we're gonna go through and seal oops seal these two things and these four placemats and then just wait for it to dry. Step one, sand, step two, stain, and now we're on step three, seal. Time to set everything up for dinner. B 
Because I appreciate you guys so much, I am doing a giveaway for these placemats. They come in a set of four, so comment X tools to enter into the giveaway to win all four. Good luck. All right, so we are gonna pick some flowers for tonight's dinner. Let's see what we can find. This is a contender. You're coming with me. These are actually wild carrot, believe it or not. And we have plenty of them right here. So I am gonna grab like, I think like two more and see what else I can find. So I am out here in our little weed patch, I guess you could say. It's just kind of a little like foresty area on the side of the house. You can see the house right there. This is what I got so far. As you can see, I picked the last huckleberry on this one red huckleberry bush that we have. So I don't know, I just think that's kind of funny. Just a bunch of random stuff. Not too many like things in, well, no, we have a bunch of stuff in flower, but some of the flowers like go to sleep for the evening per se. Like our little, like, I think it's called cat's ear dandelion. They close up at night. Like here, let me show you. As you can see, they're all closed. All closed up. Also, this is how we know that we've had some visitors. It's a little kind of like muddy area full of what I think are deer prints for the most part. So I think my little bouquet is getting somewhere. I might pick like, I don't know, maybe like two or three things to throw in there. Mostly greenery, but I still think it's beautiful. After all, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? So yeah, I'm gonna go bring this back and put it in my little glass vase. Look at what Vian has prepared. My friend, that looks delicious. Perfect. Hello and welcome to dinner at Pacific Pines Ranch. Today, Chef Vian has prepared some delicious steak and broccoli for tonight's meal. Pretty delish. And me, I am in my Steve Jobs outfit for tonight's Date. Although no keynote speeches tonight. So we are going to go ahead and have dinner with our new centerpieces for the table, or as Violet likes to call them, table chandeliers, <laughs> and go ahead and enjoy our dinner. Just a side note, if you would like to purchase these table chandeliers, check the link in the description. I will link my website with the product. Also, 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 last note, the placemats, I am going to do a giveaway for the placemats. So go ahead and comment X tools 
if you would like to enter into the giveaway for the placemats. It's a set of four, and as you can see, they are right here on the table. Time to enjoy this delicious dinner. I am so happy with how everything turned out. The X-Tools P2 is an absolutely incredible machine. I would also like to mention it is geared more towards commercial use in general, but you can definitely use it as a hobby laser engraver as well. I really love doing creative projects and this was a really nice break from our usual grind weld pay repeat. So thanks for watching and don't forget to enter into the giveaway and click the link in the description if you would like to purchase the X-Tools P2 or our table chandelier set. Special thank you to X-Tools for sponsoring this video. As always you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to be sure you don't miss any of our new videos. And we will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.